In this video, I'm going to teach you the trick horizontal skin the gerbil, and it looks like this. So to do this trick, obviously the first thing that you need to do is you need to master the trick, skin the gerbil. And by master it, what I mean is uh, it's not enough to just know the steps and be able to execute those in order. You really need to have mastered the trick in such a way that you can blow through them pretty much without thinking and quickly. And the reason for that is, is that when you do horizontal style yo-yoing, the faster and more seamless you can do the tricks, the better it's going to work. Now the second thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you've watched our video on the basics of horizontal style yo-yoing because some of the tips that we give in this video, they assume that you've watched that video and that you understood the mechanics of horizontal yo-yoing as we describe them there. So it's a good idea to check that video out. If you think about it, skin the gerbil is a really great first trick to learn for horizontal style play. And that's because it combines a whole bunch of different elements together. But if you notice, everything always stays perfectly in line with the groove of the yo-yo. And so the string is never pushing into the side of the yo-yo at all. And once the yo-yo gets onto the string, throughout the whole trick, it never leaves that initial mount. And so that just makes it a little bit easier when you're getting into horizontal style play. You're not really pushing the limits of what a yo-yo can do in horizontal, but you are combining a whole lot of different skills into one trick. So it's very satisfying and it's a good place to get started. So when you first get into the transition from skin the gerbil into horizontal skin the gerbil, there's one tweak that you're going to want to make to the trick. And that's right at the beginning. If you watch our video where we teach skin the gerbil, the first thing we talk about is how you should do a flip into the double trapeze. But if you want the trick to be as quick as possible, uh, that flip will always kind of slow you down because you have to wait to get your hand over there to push the string around. So what we would recommend is changing that flip to a roll. And uh, we talk about this in our brain twister video, but basically a roll is the same as a flip, except you don't push your hand into the string. You just allow the yo-yo to rotate around. You point this hand forward so that the string doesn't wrap around it. And watch what happens when you add that to the the beginning of skin the gerbil. You can just go right into the roll and onto the double trapeze. And you can see that's so much faster and more seamless, which will allow you to get into the rest of the trick. Now, once you've got that little change down, you're ready to start moving the trick up into a horizontal position. And when you do this, like we talked about in our basics video, it's a good idea to start just a little bit horizontal and slowly move your way up until you've reached your goal. And look at what happens with my arms when I do that. When I do normal skin the gerbil, you can see my elbows are right at my side and basically my arm is in a 90 degree angle. And so as you move your elbows up, you wanna keep that 90 degree angle. And so you're not gonna bend your elbows up like this. You're gonna move at your shoulders so that it keeps that same position. And then uh, when you're right at the peak, um, your arms will almost be parallel to the ground, but not quite and you might even need to tilt your hands up just a little bit so that they point straight up in the air. And ultimately, this is your goal. This is how horizontal you want the trick to be. Now, when you start moving the yo-yo up into this horizontal position, chances are, even if you're doing the trick well and you're doing it fast and you feel like you're doing everything right, the yo-yo may start to do some things that you can't anticipate. And so I wanna help you solve some of those problems. Uh, the first thing that may happen that can be really aggravating is the yo-yo will start to lean in ways that you can't anticipate. And so sometimes the yo-yo will become so horizontal that it'll just fall right off the string and other times the opposite will happen. It'll start to tilt and will perfectly right itself. So it's perfectly vertical right in the middle of your trick. And actually the cause of both of these problems is the same. And uh, what's happening is that you're doing the trick in such a way that it's not perfectly lined up with the groove of the yo-yo, particularly the angle that the yo-yo is at, because it has started to turn on you, it's started to process. And again, we've talked about this in our horizontal basics video, but let me illustrate how exactly this affects yo-yo play um, just in a normal skin the gerbil. So um, as we've already talked about in skin the gerbil, everything is perfectly lined up with the groove of the yo-yo so that the, the string never touches the side of the yo-yo. Um, but look what happens if the yo-yo just starts to turn a little bit. Um, and imagine that I do the trick exactly the same on the same plane I was on before. 
without compensating for how the yo-yo is turned. Look, I can still get the yo-yo on the string, and I can still start to do the trick, but you can see immediately the yo-yo started turning in a way that I couldn't anticipate, and it, in this case, it really killed the spin of the yo-yo. And so the same thing is happening when the yo-yo is set up in a horizontal position, is if the yo-yo has started to turn, if it started to process, and you don't also compensate and turn with the yo-yo, then it's gonna start to lean in ways that you can't anticipate and the spin might die. And so, again, if you're just starting to learn the trick, this is something that you uh, will find yourself doing, is the yo-yo is gonna turn, and if you don't want the spin to die, you're gonna have to turn with the yo-yo. Now, again, the better that you get at the trick, the faster you execute the trick, the less that this is gonna be a problem. Now, the second problem, is if you're not doing the trick fast enough, then you're, you don't have enough outward force to keep the yo-yo on the plane that's in line with the groove of the yo-yo. And so the yo-yo will start to be dragged down a little bit by gravity. That'll push the strings into the top of the yo-yo. And again, that can cause the yo-yo to twist and turn and lean a little bit in ways that you can't quite anticipate. And again, for this one, the solution is simple. Keep practicing, keep working on it, get your speed up, keep everything perfectly in line and that'll help you solve that problem as well. So hopefully this helps you master your first horizontal yo-yo trick, horizontal skin the gerbil. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do skin the gerbil -y horizontal. <laughs> That's a good name for the trick, skin the gerbil -y.